House of 3000. And of course, uh, same things as normal. You can enter um, once a week, every Wednesday, singles, brackets, and you can exclamation point weeklies in the chat. However, we're going to go right into our next set, and that is going to be PK Chris versus Stretch Ness versus Lucina, a traditionally bad matchup for Ness. However, uh, PK Chris, a truly high quality player, and we're going to see if he can continue to see that success into this bracket. Yeah, and um, yeah, Stretch has been on a bit of a hot streak right now, right? You know, we saw the last yeah. game with Hayes playing really on, on fire. And um, let's see, you know, if you carry it on. And this is going to be a, a matchup where I feel like Stretch, is, Stretch needs to kind of try to exploit Ness off stage. It's, e it's much easier said than done, mostly because, like, Ness can actually mix themselves up, up a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, and that's how you're going to be able to dropping there. Trying to have to jump into the PK Chris. Um, okay, that's going to be a nice combo right there. Uh, however, nice combo of uh, Stretch's own. Gonna be able to get out of that corner. Tech chase situation, nice wow. using the auto cancel window on that down air to get a quick reaction there. Yeah, and, th and that's one of the mix ups that Ness players like to do. They like to do the, the auto cancel down air into button. Just to throw you off a little bit. Okay. Back to stage. All right. Um, Stretch getting hit by that Pika Thunder to get above. And that up air is enough. Um, gonna be living that. And it's going to be Pika Chris taking stock number one. Okay. Ooh, oh, reverse situation there. Yeah, reverse, literally just reversing the situation. With Stretch re regaining stage control and just going oh. really hard. Okay. Back throw quick off the stage. And Air Dodge is dead. Oh. Yeah, it's not going to be able to tap that stage there. And fortunate for Stretch because it's going to be able to get a, uh, you know, not too much of a deficit uh, going into this second stock. Yeah, and PK Chris has been in, in control pretty much throughout this throughout the first stock, right? Um, mm -hmm. And I, I feel like in just in neutral, it's just been a struggle for Stretch to actually get like one of one of his good juggle strings going on against PK Chris. Mm -hmm. All right, looking for a two frame right there. Not does not end up working out. However, that B reverse uh, PK or rather yeah, PK fire not gonna work out for PK Chris in this situation. Taking a decent amount of percent. However, does win neutral there and going to begin the ledge trap situation. Okay, Stretch getting out of that corner there. Just barely. Oh yeah, got that down air to forward smash. That is definitely a true combo. Okay, down tilt from the ledge. That's his air dodge crazy for getting back to stage. Oh, and I thought... Yeah, I was just yeah. about to say, I thought Stretch was going to go deep for that one. I think PK Chris messed up. I don't think they expected to be at that angle. Yeah, and, and the thing is with um, P PK Thunder is that it can be really tough to counter it if you're close to the ledge because Ness will sometimes just snap through you. Yeah. Um, however, if Ness is far like that, uh, you can counter that move and to great success. Yeah, it's free. Um, it is going to be Stretch uh, taking that stock from Ness. Ooh, with I'm some to the air dodge. Watch the eye. Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was just the air dodge. They actually dodged fine, but mm. they air dodged into the blast and black. Oh, uh, okay. Probably buffered air dodge or something there. Um, all right. Uh, she's still in a good position overall. Only at that 43% or 56% mark now. And, oh, goodness, Pika Chris is now reversing the situation. Oh, God. Oh, yo. The thing is, I feel like Stretch is going to get up and drop and forward smash. And yeah. Good thing he didn't. Okay. Reading that roll in. Pika Chris, though, not in time for the punish. I'm good on stretch throwing out that up tilt because if he didn't, there was another back here coming out from PK Chris right there. Alright. Alright. PA Fire not covering quite enough space for PK Chris to get the punish. Fair right there. Alright. Yeah, just. We're gonna get back. Yeah, stretch right now needs to stay away from that ledge and not like, get a little bit. Yeah. A little oh. bit too cute. And nice. That was a tech. good tech. Okay. Yeah, don't get back there. Goodness. Both players in the corner, and you could tell PK Chris utilizing that shield. Flickering. Flickering. Trying to get yeah. that back throw. Flickering. Oh, yeah, you see it. And the spacing by Stretch is pretty good. Staying out of that grab range, that Nair. Going to put uh, Stretch back into disadvantage. Ooh, almost put that with the up air. Oh, great dash attack by Stretch to get out of that situation. Tex. Oh. Oh, and no that parry way. is huge. After several situations going back and forth where both players were trading advantage states, those great techs by Stretch at the end of the day, going to get parried on the down air. Normally a safe option at that spacing, and PK Chris is going to be able to dash in and get that quick punish and take game number one. Can we just like talk about how... PK Chris just picked a very fast option off of the Trump. Mm -hmm. After, I don't think 
stretch attempted to trump all game. Yes, no, that was the first one. And Pika Chris just quick, uh, clicked that really quick roll yeah. and got back to stage safely. Yeah, just immediately picking an option after stretch really didn't do it much. So that's you know good to go. Pika Chris good awareness. Yeah, we're gonna run it back to FBI. You know, I agree with this. Yeah, no, I mean the the, the, the game was about as close as it could possibly be. So I don't think I hate FD at all. And you don't want to let uh, Ness go a small stage. Um, so you, you, you like you like this for Lucina. Okay, give you a little bit of damage there. All right, uh, a little bit of a percent trade to start this game off. And ooh, PK Chris with a little bit of a bait there. Double auto cancel down airs into the PK fire on the dash in. Yeah, and, getting, and get, just getting these uh, roll Ooh, rates. getting that, around. Ooh, wow, just barely grabbed the ledge. S smash, no jump. This is your stop. Yeah, that's it. And going all the way out to the stretch and getting a quick stock number one. Still in threat to get the stock taken off. PK fire. Oh, we're back. Oh, just barely. Okay. Okay. And yeah, stretch getting out the corner as fast as possible. That's one thing that's going to do well. And PK Chris, PK Chris is also very good mm -hmm. with reading your jumps out of, out of the corner yes. as Ness. So go down the stretch to immediately get out of that situation. Okay. Going to be able to uh, up here back down to the ground. Looking for a uh, quick back air option of the grab there. Ooh, but instead, and I think Stretch knew that Pia Chris wanted to go for a grab to end that stock there. However, um, Pia Chris kind of the, the second um, level of that read there was the catch jump trying to avoid the grab. Mm. Wow. I'm talking about the uh, second level of that, um, okay. PK Flash. Combos are crazy. And both players taking a whole lot of damage to that interaction. However, Stretch coming out on top in terms of where they are at a neutral. Nice air dodge for PK Chris to get back to the stage. Again, that Ness air dodge so, so good getting back. And that side makes up a really nice stalling yeah. uh, stretch in the air and allowing him to win neutral that time around. Yeah, try, just waiting for the background stretch. Just mixing up the side B right now, man. Um, oh, and that very, very end of that move, forcing a stretch to tech. And that is going to be a stock. And PK Chris now with that stock lead. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. and that great stall by PK Chris. Man, and, Stre and Stretch is kind of just like letting PK Chris like do whatever they want off stage, and that's, you know, you see Stretch kind of taking certain chances off stage, but man, like, you know, when it comes to the last set we were watching PK Chris in, like, mm -hmm. Rob does have l uh, different options, like, you know, especially the Rob Gyro, but man. Um, okay. Yeah, all right. Um, that was a bizarre recovery. Uh, <laughs> can't really explain that one, I'll be honest, folks. Some sort of miss input. Maybe <laughs> try to do like a high up and in recovery, but like it's just angled wrong. Somebody throwing her? Yeah, I, I gotta say, it sounds like it. Anyway, oh, yeah, uh, for the drama, we have even stocks, uh, pr relatively even percent. Oh, nice pair of PA for Sarah. I'm not gonna be able to get any sort of punish mm. off of it, and that is gonna be a decent amount of damage for uh, Stretch. Yeah, I'm trying to read that, that roll in with the forward smash, not getting what they wanted, but man. Nice. Utilizing the drag down there. Oh, high recovery once again. Oh, no! Reverse! You got reverse up feed. <laughs> hey, man. It look, wasn't even B reverse. This is why Lucina is a good reverse. character. No, no, no. I don't want to hear it. It right? wasn't even B reverse. It was, it was just flat out. It was, it was just the hitbox. Yeah. That was just the hitbox. This is exactly why Lucina is a good character. I've gotten hit by that before. This is this is the... that That's the... Oh, it's the magic angle. Is right, the that, that, that's, the, that's the magic it's the magic angle. Okay, that's crazy. That was some um, nonsense and a half. We're right back to FD again. Don't mind this at all. Both players have been playing really well on this stage thus far. Really clean play um, we've seen in the set thus far. But, but yeah, but as funny those as last that, two uppies, but yeah, as funny as that as that may be though. But this is why this is why as Ness, you kind of have to watch a little bit when you go off stage against Lucina, right? It, Lucina has a recovery that although it's quite like, a little bit linear, you can't really mess with it, right? No, it, it's it has invincible. yeah, it has the yeah it has the invincible frames, right? You can't really mess with that recovery off stage. So it's like if you reach like that, you might just get smoked for no reason. Yeah. Oh no, jump! Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you're, stretch you're back. back. Yeah, the, the lack of a jump there, stretch sniping it out. And that, that was so, so costly for PK Chris. In that situation, as Ness, you can't do anything about it. Like, yeah. If you don't have a jump in your offstage like that, you you are literally just a sitting duck. However, uh, Lucina is in a precarious situation here. Ness forced to take that full uh, neutral B there instead of getting the shield broken. Not the worst trade in the world that you want to take. However, uh, stretch still in a great position. 
Wow, and the tail, the tail hitbox. Okay. Catching the jump. Stretch really in the biggest lead that he's had thus far. This set. Still has a jump. And I'm liking how... Still this, has is jump. A, this is what I'm talking about. I'm liking how Stretch... Oh, wait, no jump? Seriously? Yeah, no jump, yeah. Yeah, took the jump on the, on, on the second swipe. And that's oh what I'm talking gosh. about. I'm really liking now how Stretch is actually just going out there a little bit more. And I think it's because of the stock advantage and, you know, gave Stretch a little bit more liberty to work with and not being afraid of, like, maybe trading a stock with Ness off stage. And that back throw should be enough? It's going to be enough. Yeah. Cross stage, 140. Uh, Ness back though, super crazy. That is going to be just enough to take the stock. Stretch, though, still in an excellent position with that stock lead. Nice parry right to get Chris to get out of the corner there. And he's going to get some percent out of it. Okay. Wow. Catching the you get up with that. Like uh, that's down first, smash. First, first down smash of the day, by the way. Yeah. Excuse me, the set. Okay, catching the jump again. Oh, we're dead. Wow. That was. And got a full stock, really, just off of those huppies there. Um, kind of crazy how uh, efficient that was. Those off really just cover so much space. Oh! Yo. Got a little bit lucky there to pick yeah. that he did not get full spiked. Oh no. Okay, oh, out of that no. situation. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, don't die. Okay. Just don't die. I don't know what. <laughs> Yo, I've never seen all those up airs connect like that. That was yeah, that was bizarre. Um, yeah, yo, stretch. Sometimes you, you miss Smash Four S up air. Uh, <laughs> no jump. Wow, what what happened? Did he let's drop jump? I'm so confused. Okay, we need to run back that. Okay, can we run that back? I want to run that back. I need what? to study, I need to study. We're, we're in the lab right now. We're in the lab. We're in the okay. lab. Okay. Yeah, he let's drop jump. Okay, he just let's drop jumped. Yeah. That's on stretch. Yeah. Did ledge drop, did an instant double jump. Um, and did not drift in. Which Why did you do that? Yeah, you can see it. It's kind of tough to see because, like, Why did you do that? Um, it's, you know, uh, in, like, the, the bright part of FD. But, yes, that is a double jump circle. And, uh, wow. Um, that was a three-star comeback, right? Uh, it was darn close to it if it wasn't already. Um, however, it was a last stock situation, and all of these games have been last stock situations, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, but I mean, Stretch has to be kicking himself, man. Yeah. Like, he, he had a sizable lead. He, had, he actually had the momentum, too, so, yeah. you know, good on PK Chris, man. Brought that back. He had, he had a crazy up air string in the middle of that. Um, I thought that was kind of, like, demoralizing. Though. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Okay, trying to get that spot out redo PK Chris. Not going to work out that time around. Stretch looking in a decent position here. It's going to be... Okay. You can't yeah, I respect it. Uh, <laughs> Both I, I, going for uh, smash punishes. Uh, not working out. However, okay. Looking for that Sabi punish that on red. the mistech. Did I end up working out, though? Ooh, we're back now to neutral. Tia Chris is looking for that space to uh, get those big meaty hitboxes hit. Okay. Yeah, and then they are yeah. not fast enough out of shield. Yeah, it seems like PK Chris in the middle of the stage is just looking for some type of trade with Nair. Just trying to push Stretch okay. to the edge. Okay, Tech. All right, Tech. Ooh, or yeah, Trump, yeah, rather. Trump. And that's going to be that stock coming off. PK Chris, Stretch with a one-stock lead. You've seen how little the stock lead has mattered in this set thus far, but it puts yourself in a good position. At least a little bit of extra credit. Slight advantage to Stretch here. I, I do have to say though, in those situations where they're both off stage and like in one of them techs, or say stretch techs, I feel like he's not as willing to go for these deep reads like say as, as PK Chris is like those yeah. deep reversal reads. Okay. What's the situation for PK Chris? That Savvy has been so good for stretch along when we get back down to the ground with a little bit of a stall. And stretch's tracking right now has been so good. Yeah. Really just getting PK Chris into positions that are awful for Ness to be in. He's been using, utilizing that upbeat now, and it's putting PK Chris in the bad situations, force techs or air dodges up. Ooh, and the tech roll read in with the down smash. Wow, wow that was and so impressive. Good grab punish, so maybe not the most of optimal of punishes. You gotta punish. All right. Ooh, yeah. but the E reverse neutral, we're gonna take the stock and Steph puts Stretch in an excellent position up a full stock with only 46% on stock number two for him. Yeah, I have to say that Stretch has been utilizing a lot of these, oh, you, you're gonna these die. Like, side B, B reverses and the neutral B, B reverses at the ledge when PK Kurtz is there. And just, just as a mix of him, PK Kurtz is getting hit, getting hit by a lot of those things. Oh, this might be a stock A, not quite. 
back. Back to trade for both players. Stretch needed that trade yeah. in that situation. However, Pika Chris is now coming out with the roll read with jump. And, uh, or rather, these the, the jump reads, I should say. And um, hitting them with that, that jump of back air. And that up is going to be enough. Those ledge drop double jump um, up, uh, forward airs have really not worked out super well for Stretch. Main continues to go for them. However, they've put him in scary situations on several times. And several times have cost him his stock. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, all the way down there. I'm not going to be able to recover back to that ledge without a counter in the way. And that's going to be a stock. That's going to be stretching game number two. We're going to game five. First game five I've casted tonight. Yeah, and a lot of these mangles I feel like Pika Chris are going for is just not working out. Man. Like... Pow. And, yeah, and, and this is... And this has seen some things. Good Yo, God. Oh, my God. Did you see the eyes? The eye. That's opened his eyes. Look at him. Oh my god. He looked into the eyes of death. Sakura is died in the process. Sakura is a Sakura is a mad. Look at him. He's what, got what, he's got like the bags man. under his eyes too. Wait, he doesn't wait. He doesn't even like go into tumble. He just kind of stays in that animation and like shoots out. Somebody That's had so to animate funny. that. You guys oh man. Why would you, you make Ness look like that, man? Yeah, poor Ness child. That is the double jump caught as well, I believe. Yeah, fuck um, them kids. Um Boom, pow. Yeah, and, and, and it's funny, right? Yeah. In the previous set, we were talking about how PK Chris didn't want to re recover horizontally, right? Yeah. Now, in, in this set, um, almost almost, yeah. almost exclusively recovering horizontally. Um, yeah. Yeah, almost because, like, you know, recovering low for him, he's just getting smoked. Yeah, getting smoked by that, that counter specifically. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it really has kind of been that you hit the air dodge back to stage pretty often um, in this matchup. Uh, just because of the coverage that Lucina's aerials provide. They don't linger as long as things like Rob Gyro and Rob Down Air, which is kind of the big difference. Um, but they are, you know, disjointed and can't really be interrupted. Um, so that, that is like kind of the big difference in terms of like you guys have to recover horizontally instead of uh, vertically in this matchup, as opposed to Rob, where you want to do the exact opposite. Yeah. Um, speaking of verticality, um, $60.20 in the Maturino. Oh, go, we're up to uh, $2 yeah. from before. Thank you. Do, 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 do. All right, we going up. Yeah, yeah, we going up. We going up. I like it, Gus. I like yes. the energy. I like that. But with this said, folks, uh, one, stay hydrated. Um, yeah, we got, drink got some, some water. Drink some water. We got to get a water. Drink water. Stay hydrated. Um, also, it's up the house, I guess. I mean, I don't know. We're kind of in the middle of a set. It feels weird to do an ad, but... Uh, hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, yo. Yeah, yeah. Sub the house. Um... We're on uh, Twitch, Twitch.tv, slash 3000. Uh, on YouTube, go follow us on YouTube. YouTube, um, these matches are uploaded almost immediately, right? Um, uh, you know, maybe if you go right now, maybe half the matches are uploaded right now. That's just, that's just uh, hey, hey. Hey. Um, yeah, oh, Facebook, at House 3000. Um, if you guys are into those, you know, the Facebook stuff and the, the crystals and stuff, yeah, go on Facebook. Yeah. Um, Twitter this? Sati, uh, on Twitter, House 3000 on Twitter. Uh, follow uh, House 3000 uh, for the updates, like Xenosagas. Monthlies um, and stuff like this. Yeah, which of course is going to be our next Xeno Saga, Xeno Saga 38, every, well, not every Saturday, duh. The uh, next upcoming monthly will be next Saturday, month. December 11th. Come on down to that. But before we do that, we are going to finish this set off again. We are doing a little bit weird during an ad break in the middle of, uh, of a set. However, that was taking a while. So we are right back into it. Um, and it is going to be Lucina versus Ness in this game number five. We've seen how much uh, or how close these games have been thus far. Mm. Utilizing that up to get out of the PK fire there. However, taking a whole lot of damage in the process did stretch. Okay. Yeah, and, and I feel like I, I know it's tempting to get out of PK fire, up out of PK fire. But you know what? Like in those situations, because PK Curse gets so much out of PK Fire, you almost want to just do the up B just as a check, yeah. because the punch isn't as hard as it was, was it could be. Death, and that's gonna be a stock for Stretch to start this game off. Uh, another missed jump there, I think, by PK Chris is gonna end the stock. And there, there's that, that check that you just mentioned. Okay. Yeah, and what did we say, man? Oh. That yeah, and, and now, and PK Chris is actually afraid because he knows uh, that stretches up being out of PK Fire. Yeah, and that, and that was scary too because that was the inside hit of the PK Fire. So Stretch was essentially stuck in that for the entire time. Um, and, and and right and right now, um, oh, Tex, okay, we're back to stage. Oh, no jump. 
Oh, yo, you killed him. Oh, you, you killed him and then you saved him and then you killed him. Yo, Stretch is going off, man. And that is a full stock leader. Even though Stretch just lost that stock right there, still in an excellent position. Stretch is going off right now. Yeah, man. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, Stretch is just in the zone right now. Just. Ooh, oh. that stock crossing up the shield. Yeah, man, and like all all these all these things that Stretch is doing to condition PK Chris, like PK Fire, he just did PK Fire and he stood and watched him yes. after it hit him. Think about that. He he stood and watched my get hit by PK Fire and did nothing. Yeah, <laughs> and it's so unorthodox. But in this matchup specifically, you have to be afraid of the uppy. And, and and really, as you mentioned, Stretch has conditioned that. And yeah. we're at the point in the set where now Stretch kind of has the upper hand with all of its conditioning that's gone on over a full five game set. Stretch really has just had the advantage here. Looking for that uh, low catch with the back here doesn't end up working out. However, PK Chris still very much so in this game. 84% though. This deficit is building. 92% has to get back to stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But back a grab. Row. That's not going to be enough just yet. Oh. Yeah, that's okay, the air catches. Oh, only weak hit in air. Oh, and that caught the jump. Yeah, the tail of the uppy caught the jump. Oh, man. And PK and Chris, man. He oh. Okay. Okay, that's no. looking oh. to catch the stage. Back throw? This is... Okay. Okay. Getting him back off stage. Oh, and that down air yeah. it barely does not catch yo, the and, ledge and, grab. And, and, and yo, okay, so right now Stretch needs to watch out, right? Because PK Chris... <sighs> back into the side. No jump. Is it? What? Oh! Yo! He didn't grab the yo, ledge. Hold on. Yo, okay, okay, and okay. And that is going to be... Oh, we don't even get to see the game. Yo. Because uh, PK Chris discs an X as soon as it happens. Yo. And the little lip of FD How did there. He... Wait, hold on. That angle was actually insane. Yeah. How did he... went went Yo. Waited, uh, waited until the very last minute that he could have upbeat. L look at, no, no, look look at how that. little room he has. Look how little room he has to upbeat. That is all the room that he has to what? get an upbeat out. How did he do that? Instantly turns it Yo. around. Yo, oh, yeah, he did. Rides he right. the stage. And goes up and in. A, that's an insane recovery. It almost works, bro. Yo, I'm surprised. Wow, hey, hey, that yo. that is the difference between life and death. Hey, yo, y'all talk about Lila, bro. Let's talk about FD. Let's talk about FD. <laughs> yeah, talk and about then, FD. like you see, Ness yo, drifts further and that, further away as that up he goes up. Can we, yo, because because the okay. move doesn't snap, right? So. Can we talk about, okay, so for him, PK Chris had to go up and right, wrap all the way back around, yeah. and then and then angle, he has to hit on the left side of his body. That was like, no If that worked, that was like the best <laughs> Ness recovery was, I have ever seen. That was insane. That was like, God. That was crazy. But yo, good stuff on Stretch. Yo, Stretch was kind of nasty that game. Up. That second stock especially. What? With that said though, folks, despite that insanity and crazy way to end the set, we're going to finish you tonight. I feel, I feel